Cat or day. There it is. Cat or day. To be precise, four cats for now. And they do look relatively young. So it is more than likely the breakaways, the Telemati breakaways, the sub adults. And Gert also made a good point and he said maybe that the one track we were looking at there was the one female that looks to be missing from here. It looks like the four, three brothers and the one sister here. Absolutely spectacular. Amazing. Oh, big yawn coming up. Hello, guys. Oh, okay. Hmm. Absolutely magic. I think they're all making their way towards other younger ones. Ooh, big stretch. There's the big boy. Hello, Mr. S8. Oh, he's an impressive male, hey? Well, guys, I think I've got a very, very big problem on my hands. This Springbok jersey is using up a lot of luck. And I was hoping to use this luck tonight against the All Blacks. But as this luck would have it, it looks like we have Tortoise Pan, now Leopard, on Balanati's Road, and on Balanati's Mogamia in the Greenthorn Torchwood. So we had the tracks of lions that we were following up on on Voyotella and the guide just spotted them on Galago and then another guide said they had leopard tracks around here and I was like oh maybe we'll go see the lions first and we'll come and follow up on these tracks and another guide beat me to it and said well you've got a leopard in a tree on Balanates in a Balanates and that's it look at that wowzers trousers that now that is how we like to end the show. Oof. <laughs> Beautiful sleepy Tom. Oh, why is Leopard Lover? I didn't do much. Dion Vessels, you found him, so we can we can send him a private message and say thanks, Dion Vessels. I've seen him in a tree, but only with a with food, not just chillaxing like this. He's got himself such a nice spot there. His little foot is tucked away. He's got a spot for his chin. Absolutely beautiful. B e a beautiful. Yeah, this is a nice view. Yeah, shame. These elephants must be super hot. You know, often I wonder to myself, how do these animals cope in such he heavy weather? I mean, it's really hot today. But luckily out here on eco training, there is uh, sufficient amounts of water. Some of the dams are quite deep. And uh, so they're going to spend, you know, a few times swimming every day, not just once, especially in this heat. We've seen uh, one elephant bull come to this water hole and have a swim like four or five times in the one day. So that's a good way of cooling themselves down. Beautiful. Look at that. Mary Kate, <laughs> no, this is definitely, this is the place of the elephants. That's, that's what I like to call it, the land of the elephants. Yeah, no, I remember when I first did my first, when I first came here to, to eco-training, uh, that was in May. 
and so it's a good few months ago I was actually very surprised by the sheer amount of elephants that come through here and have a good time you know drinking swimming feeding walking around but uh, yeah there was a spell where there was no elephants or very few elephants seen for about two weeks or so things dried up a little bit and the reason um, we reckon is probably because it did rain and there's uh, a lot more water available elsewhere so it makes sense I mean why why all go to one place rather spread out but look at this they're all having a group group bath here a group swim oh look at what we have in front of us hi hey! For what reason? Sorry everyone. You see how quickly things can change. So unnecessary walking towards us like that and then decided he was going to run. I'm really sorry girls. Okay, that's enough now. You can stop. I obviously gave the cows a little bit, well, a bit of a fright and that was the absolute last thing that I wanted to do. I'm sorry girl. I wasn't, I was shouting at this, this fella here who's rude. Tell him off. Aye. Stop your nonsense. That is so unnecessary. I'm going to just move because now... Okay, girl. So what you can see, if you see how that cow is also coming to stand up because that bull has kind of riled them. <laughs> Please elephants don't do this to me today. So the only reason I am moving is because of this bull. Oh my goodness. Okay guys. <laughs> so he is being he is being unnecessary. I'm not gonna move anymore. I moved because the cow was a little bit upset and she has got youngsters and unfortunately my clap didn't really help the situation. But what that young bull would have done is he would have stopped, but he would have stopped right in front of the vehicle. And I speak about this all the time. There is no need for a young elephant bull to intimidate you like that. You can stop him in his tracks. And unfortunately, they need to learn. And this is a very, like a very good example of why you sometimes need to stand your ground. Now, he's trying to sneak around me, thinking that he's very smart. I can literally see you. Stop it now. Get out of here. That's incredibly rude. <laughs> Guys, you're meant to be looking for food. <laughs> What's going on? You're meant to be looking for food, boys. Not all up to your sisters. You gotta try something as well. Looks very inquisitive now. Pretty boy, eh? Super pretty boy. One behind one bush. It's so funny. The two females are hidden behind something, and the two males are out in the open. I wonder what this says about males. You guys are really giving us a bad rap, babe. I'm going to be honest with you. Sorry, this is usually when you get someone commenting, why don't they just cut off a piece of steak and give it to them? Why don't you do this and help them? Well, because this is nature. Make a little bar cleaner. Claws be on the